Hello, all my quarantine peeps and my art history people. This is Mona Lisa, by the way. She's probably not gonna stay here, but sometimes she lets me hold her. Um, I'm more of a dog person, but we do love our Mona Lisa. Uh, one of my former students, Brandy Toll, I can't remember Brandy's married last name now, um, kind of inspired me to do some art history videos, but I thought I'd start my first video with this particular painting. This is Claude Monet's Japanese footbridge. And it's the kitty, she, wants, she just wants to be part of the family, that's all. <laughs> um, when I was 18, I saw this painting, um, that I, Claude Monet did several versions of the Japanese footbridge up in New York, and um, it really was the painting that did it for me. So, and I've said that to some art history classes over the years, like at the end of the year, what's that one painting that was your like, aha, this is, I love art history and this was the one piece that really spoke to me, or the first piece that really spoke to me. So I have many things that I love, but this is probably where it all started. And I had to write a research paper on Claude Monet and I picked him because I liked the colors that he chose of the, of, on his painting palette. Didn't really know much about him, but when I was in the museum in New York, um, my friend Terry, thank you Terry for bringing me by train from Philly to New York, to see this in person, I remember taking notes and I had to make observations about the colors and the composition. And at the Met, they have little plaques on the wall that will say some specific, specific information. And I was jotting notes down, this woman walks up to me and she says, it's more beautiful in person. And I thought to myself, you've seen this? She goes, oh yeah, that's Givonne, it's outside Paris. And she started telling me all about Claude Monet's house and to see the footbridge in person. And at 18, going to France was like going to the moon. I never thought it was an option for me in my life. Um, but now I've been there three times, so Givonne and Paris nine, um, and love to travel. But this is where it all started for me. So I remember putting the ladies' quotes in my research paper, and I got a very good grade on the paper, by the way. So. Tune in next time for my next art history video. I'll pick one of my favorite pieces and explain to you why I love it.